The risks of future pandemics have gone up because of climate change. And what is disappointing, of course, is that we've known of these risks of pandemics for a long period of time, and we still haven't made those investments on the scale that we need. So we need to take this seriously. It's compounded by climate change. Two critical requirements to maximize the impact of these changes in the financial sector. And the first is that governments need to close the gap between their ambitions, those net zero targets, and the policies that are necessary to achieve them. This is about giving greater certainty to investors and businesses. And the second uh, critical thing we need to do is to develop a new architecture to scale finance for emerging and developing economies for this transition. The private sector is more engaged than ever before. Um, more than 5,000 major companies around the world have science-based targets and are, implement, are developing and implementing net zero plans. And crucially, the global financial system is reorienting for the net zero transition. Um, so to conclude, uh, Ronnie, uh, finance is stepping up. Um, the system is being changed. There are, are enormous opportunities now for countries and companies from affordable green power to zero emission steel to low carbon hydrogen and beyond.